Hello, cutie pies, and welcome back to my guide on Pokemon Legends Arceus, mainly shiny hunting, let's be honest here. Um, today we're going to talk about how to catch Pokemon that are more difficult <laughs> when you encounter them in the wild, which can be very annoying when you are shiny hunting because you're going to have to take down like 10 of them each time you encounter them. So we're going to go after the ones that are like evolved form or aggressive in the wild. And I'm going to go over a couple of the tips that I did for my uh, last video, my little short video on shiny hunting. Um, just because those are so important. First of all, turn off your autosave. Make sure it is disabled. That is so important because you don't want to miss the shiny and have your game automatically save right after you missed him. That would suck. Okay, so you want only hard saves. So disable the autosave. And also turn off the background music. You can turn it all the way off. I've seen people say you need the background music. That is not true, guys. That's not true. And you're going to see it here if I can find my shiny, uh, <laughs> but you will see that you can hear the sparkle without the background music because it's a sound effect. It is not music, okay? So turn off the background music. It just gets in the way. Just leave the sound effects on. And then the key to catching really difficult, obnoxious Pokemon, two things. You need to be able to hide and you need cakes. Cakes significantly increase the chances of catching that Pokemon with the same ball. And I will show you the difference when I get there. So I'm going to recommend you craft at least one of each cake before you even go out. Preferably 10 of each if you don't know what your Pokemon eats. If you know what they eat already, you're good. Um, if you don't, you can check your Pokedex by pushing the down button here and then looking at the Pokemon that you're going after. We're going to be going after uh, Gabite. Uh, which, as you can imagine, is a pain in the butt because he is an evolved form. Here he is. Okay, so for me, the food is insufficient data. If you're lucky or smarter than me, which is very likely, you'll actually have that. But since I don't, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring every type of cake because I want something that he's going to prefer so it'll be easier to catch him. All right, so let me move my webcam and show you. I've got one of each type of cake that I'm able to make. And I have smoke balls and I have ultra balls. I'm actually going to get a great ball as well because I know that his shiny is, um, it's going to look pretty in a, in a great ball. Okay, so once you have everything you need, that's going to be your smoke ball, your food, and your pokeball. All right, we're going to save and then we're going to go after our Pokemon. All right, so I always put down a... A pin where they are I put down this little flag actually I'm gonna save after that because Lord knows how many encounters we're gonna need and then we're gonna fly to the nearest base or I'll probably do this area because um, it looks like it's gonna be higher up in the mountains and that way I can just kind of glide down on my bird uh, now one thing I do want to point out is I made sure this was during the day at nighttime Everywhere is going to be like crowded with ghosts and I don't want any shiny ghosts. So while I am flying over these Pokemon, I have a huge variety of different Pokemon that might wind up being full on shiny. And I don't even have to really keep an eye on them because I'll be able to hear it. Again, you will hear the sparkle very clearly if you uh, wind up getting a full on shiny. But look at the variety. It's a lot better than just having a bunch of like ghastlies and haunters on your way. All right, and another thing uh, with this uh, Gabite especially, you're gonna go past a Gabite. So if I wanted to, I could catch him and get his information into my Pokedex. I could go throw food at him. But I'm a lazy piece of shit, so we're not gonna do that. There they are. All right, so there are my Gabites. So these are a pain in the neck. They can see you from a long ways away. And they are aggressive, so they will try to attack you as soon as they can. Now, there are two ways to get close enough to them in order for them to not cause trouble. If there was a Pokemon here, I would throw out my Pokemon and attack it. And while I'm in the battle, I would move and quickly run to the grass and get in the grass. Since there is no battle, after I'm in the grass, I finish the battle and quickly duck down in the grass, alright? So what that does is that stops the Gabites from noticing me. 
because they don't even exist. While you're in the battle, other Pokemon will disappear. So if there was a Pokemon here, I would start a battle with them and then use that distraction to go and get in the grass. What the hell was that? Oh, my giant alpha Gardevoir decided she's going to take a, a little break. Oh my god, I love you. She's so freaking fantastic. Anyway, since that is not there, we are going to have to resort to smoke bombs. Smoke bombs do not last long, but for this, they will last just long enough. So, just to be absolutely safe, I'm going to put this here so that I know I can get into the grass. Oh my gosh, I got lucky there. Yeah. Oh my god, they really do not last very long. Anyway, so here I am really close to them, and what you're going to want to do is do not let them stack up into one big group. You want to keep them separated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw bait to the right and then to the left. So first, we're going to throw it to the right. And only one of them will get the bait. They're very gentlemanly and organized. Now to see if he liked the bait, aim at him and push... ZL. Look at that. It's green. That means he is having a good old time. So we're going to throw the ball at him while he's eating. Right? While he's not eating, you have yellow. So that's not as great of a chance. The closer you are to green, the better a, ch a chance that you're actually going to catch the Pokemon. Let me see if... So he likes that green cake. Let's have see what happens if we throw the yellow cake. Going to do the same ball. But this time with a yellow cake for bait. Oh, she doesn't want to aim at him. She wants to aim at the other one. <gasps> no! <laughs> okay, if this happens, all you have to do is, because it was only one Pokemon, he's the only one who's going to try to come after you. So just battle him and defeat him. The great thing about using the cakes is that if you throw a Pokeball at him and then he breaks out, only that one will get angry and attack you. So you're only going to have to deal with one at a time, which is exactly what you want. So this same situation would have happened if he had jumped out of the ball, and you need to be prepared for that. As soon as he's down, duck. Real quick. Alright, so we're hiding again. We're going to try this again. Oh, he's a little sleeping darling! Oh my gosh! Oh my, oh wow. Okay, so while they're sleeping, you have a great chance of catching them anyway. So let's go ahead and throw the ball at the sleepy one. And again, we're going to try the yellow cake and see how much they like that. So once again, we're going to go for the great ball. Going to aim at him and see if the color changes. Yes, he likes the yellow cake. Throw the ball at his face. And this is a dragon type. So, oh crap, he might aggro on me because he jumped out of the ball. He's not. Good. Good. Alright, so orange. Yep, he likes that orange cake too. It may be that they just love every cake. Shoot. Won't catch me complaining. Alright, so now we're gonna do the pink cake. I should have thrown that to the right because I really don't want them stacking up on me. No? No pink cake? No pink cake. Alright. I don't know why they didn't eat the pink cake. Maybe they think it tastes bad? Or it could be that um, it caused a glitch because there were too many of them stacked up at once. Alright, so we're gonna go for the green. Gotcha! Oh, for fudge sakes. Alright, we're gonna switch to Ultra Balls. When our shiny comes up, we are still going to use the great balls, though. But I don't want to waste time. If the shiny doesn't show up, I'm just going to reset anyway, so it's not like I missed anything. Be very careful to aim only at the one that's eating. Alright, that one. I'm going to do the ultra ball here. I usually use ultra and jet. I've had a lot of success with those. There he is! 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 Okay. Alright, April, think. Okay, that's not him, so we're gonna use the Ultra Ball. You can save right here. If you want to. Go on. Get the yummy cake. 
Go on. Go on. It's not like I'm going to throw a ball at you and enslave you for life if you get that cake. Definitely not. Oh, for fudge sakes. I don't want you, sir. I want the other one. Oh, don't, no, no, no. Don't come near me. Don't come near. Don't notice me, sir. Do not notice me. Yes! In the face, baby! Alright, that was in the back, actually, which is even better. Yes! Gorgeous! There he is! Alright, now I'm gonna save. And I'm gonna go through the rest of them just to make sure there's not another shiny hiding back there. Uh, just like I said in my last video, you want to get down to three Pokemon left. Once you're at three, you know you're not gonna get your a shiny. Well, we already got ours, but we're not gonna get another one. And uh, I'll probably reset to hopefully keep these spawning and try to get a second one. That way I could do a giveaway. That would be really nice. In the back. Let's go. And we're just going to keep doing this. This very simple way to get normally aggressive, mean, angry, and low catch rate Pokeball Pokemon to stay in the freaking ball. The balls themselves, I think, are the most expensive part. Alright, so it looks like no more. So we're going to go ahead and reset. Don't worry. We saved after we caught our baby. And I'm going to show you um, him in the PC. Also, I'll show you my other shiny Pokemon as well. Somebody said, April, you didn't actually show the shiny on your last video. How do we know that you actually know how to shiny hunt at all? Well, now you know! <laughs> I don't know. I'll, I'll show you my collection so that you can see. <laughs> Why the heck not? Uh, that's, that's such a troll thing to say. Like, how do I know, April? How do I know? Like, I don't know. Maybe because my whole team is shiny? I don't, know. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, we're gonna go back to camp um, and we're gonna save here. Because this is the camp near the exit. It makes it easier to... Oh, so there are some of my shinies right there. Um, my Chimchar, Gligar, Alexam, Scyther, and Gyarados are all shiny. So now let's go and see the Pokemon that we just caught. Let's hide my face so we can see a little better. Probably going to be in the first box. There he is! Look at our handsome boy! Look at you. He really does look... Oh, quirky nature. Oh, that's... Oh, God. No. No. Why? Why? <laughs> Alright, so just temporarily, Gardevoir, you're going to go back in and we're going to throw out Mr. Quirky. Yeah, quirky son of a gun. So, yeah. Needless to say, I am pretty good at shiny hunting. If you'd like to see more videos on me showing you things about shiny hunting and how to do this game in a way that... I wish I had uh, been able to do when I first started. Feel free to subscribe and hit the bell icon. I would love to have you look at Chichar sleepy. <gasps> look at my little baby, my little shiny baby. Oh, I just love it. I love it. I don't know what makes them sleep, but it makes me happy every time. So there you go. There are your tips and tricks for catching rather difficult uh, shiny Pokemon. <laughs> I love you so much. I hope to see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.